bring up this topic since we're using the word mm -hmm. a lot, gravitational mm -hmm. lensing. Now we've talked right. about what uh, you know what what Clash is doing, but let's talk a little bit about the details of what gravitational lensing is. And if you want, Dan, I've got a a diagram that I can show. Let's see. Sure. I don't know. Uh, let me put it up. That that can you see this at all? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you talk about uh, what what galaxy? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, gravitational lensing is with this, maybe with this to this graph. Sure, yeah. And th this graphic was actually made for uh, another one of our uh, clash clusters. Um, there was a That's right. there was a galaxy that was lensed. Um, so, so what you see here is the the yellow, and there's also an animation of this, and I posted a link to that on the Google, the Google Hangouts page here. So, so what you see here is you see uh, these yellow uh, blobs here are, are galaxies that are that are in the galaxy cluster, um, and they have so much mass. That they bend space and time according to Einstein's theory of relativity, and so that's that grid that you see down at the bottom. That's supposed to represent the space time, and you can see it's being bent by the by the mass, by the by the weight of these these galaxy clusters. And it's not it's in it's in three dimensions. So here you you know they're showing a representation, but it's really it's really being compressed in three dimensions. So then the light from this background galaxy you see is following the curvatures in space time. Kind of like a golf ball going around along a putting green. There's a, a dip in the putting green, and it, and it follows those curves. And you see, it actually takes multiple paths um, around the galaxy cluster uh, to reach the Earth. So we actually see multiple images of distant background galaxies, and we see these images as magnified, so they're they're much brighter. Uh, we, we discover them more efficiently, and we can study them in more detail. Um, and and that's what you see here. Okay, Alberto just put something up. Let me switch to his screen. There you go. It's, uh, it's for example, Jen just talked about this incredible phenomenon, which is gravitational lensing. And this is, for example, a cluster, a Bell 2667, uh, yet another super descriptive name that astronomers give to these uh, objects. <laughs> right. but, With credit uh, was, to the discover. That's right. <laughs> that's right. In this case, yes. So the, the number actually is meaningful in this case. But you can see, as then and then specified, we're actually on, on one side of the lens looking at uh, at uh, at the light coming from a far distant galaxy. And this in this case, in the in the right portions of of the screen, you see a cluster of galaxies, and depending on the magnification of, uh, you know, and the properties of your ge geometric properties of the lens, you can have more or less magnification. In this case, you, you can actually see a, an arch, if you will, on the on the left side of the. I cluster. know it's absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. I can't believe that long stretched out blob is actually One a thing. galaxy. That's right. amazing, and, and so it's being I, and it's being bent. Is it right, Dan, by that big bright uh, yellow thing that's sort of right. well, at least so part of it? Yeah, it's being bent around that. If you can bring it back up there, you know, it's it's being bent around that the uh, that galaxy. That's uh, that that mass mm -hmm. is being concentrated there, and um, and so that that's one of the most beautiful uh, images of this gravitational lensing. You can see something very similar um, if you look through the base of a wine glass. So I meant to bring it with me, but I, I don't have it here. But if oh, you look, darn it, that's too bad. That's a good, <laughs> yeah, that was a good yeah, one. that's a great great <laughs> so way to you, show it. Actually, if you look if you look through a lens, you can see distorted images uh, like this one. You notice that that galaxy is is stretched out. So you see mm -hmm. you. See see images that are that are bent and distorted and magnified and so you can see that the next time you're out at dinner um, you can look through that that wine glass and maybe maybe when it's empty when you, you finish your wine and you can uh, you can see how, how galaxies are you can see how a candle is distorted um, and so what we do is we, we look at those distortions and we analyze them and you can kind of reconstruct you can imagine the, the way you see the candle distorted that'll tell you the something about the the wine glass how strong of a lens it is and that corresponds to how much mass there is uh, in, the, mm -hmm. in the gravitational lens for the, the galaxy cluster. Um, and depending on the orientation and how the mass is distributed, um, that, uh, that's, that, that dictates how the, the multiple images, the lens images are produced. Um, we basically put all that together. It's like a big puzzle. And we map out the, the dark matter in these clusters of galaxies.